So if you're hiring for wholesale and real estate positions, make sure you set your employees up for success. Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Graylin Stewart. I'm a virtual wholesaler and entrepreneur. So we do virtual wholesaling across the United States. And if you're wanting to get into the wholesaling game, obviously over time, you're gonna want to have employees. But before you ever hire any employees, you gotta go through the work yourself. So for example, you know, if, if you're trying to hold cold callers, then I hope you have that mastered, you know what I mean? So before you ever hire a cold caller, you want to be a master on the phone so you know exactly what to say, how you want it to say it, and um, how, you know, how to talk to sellers properly. And because if you're hiring cold callers and you've never done that yourself, how are you going to train somebody to do that, okay? So, so that's my two cents. Whatever you're doing in your business, obviously, you want to try as good as you can to focus your time and efforts on you know, revenue generating activities, okay? But at the same time, you can't skip all the steps to go straight there. You have to put in the work, put in the time uh, to master all the other skills it takes to get this business going. Um, because wholesale and real estate in general, the concept is super simple, right? But everybody knows if you're in the game or if you're thinking about it, it's definitely not easy. There's lots of moving parts in wholesale and real estate, okay? So, how do you set your employees up for success? So first of all, like I already said, you have to master all these different duties that you're trying to hire out, okay? So if you're trying to hire somebody out to scrub your list or pull, pull properties from the county or whatever the case is, you gotta go through it yourself, do all those things yourself, become a master at it, once you master it, you can actually, hopefully, you can teach somebody else to do it. Um, but the, the biggest part to me, uh, as far as setting your employees up for success, is actually having some kind of training curriculum in place for them to follow when you onboard them, okay? You can't just say, okay, yeah, they're, uh, they've, they've done cold calling for a telemarketing company for years, you know, they're good, here's your script and go to work. You know, it doesn't work like that because if you haven't found out already, I found out the hard way. When I hired cold callers, um, they were in the Philippines, but I mean, my cold callers had master's degrees, uh, a lot of them, and they all have bachelor's degrees. So they're super smart. They're all proficient in their, in their field, meaning uh, most of them have years of cold calling experience working for, you know, Sprint or whatever their other, you know, cell phone companies are out there. You know, a lot of them have worked in different industries cold calling, so they definitely are good at their craft, but at the same time, you can expect them to be good at cold calling sellers if they've never done it, right? And you can expect to be able to train them if you've never done it. So after you've mastered that skill, and that's just one example, obviously there's tons of different, um, different jobs or descriptions um, throughout our business that we do that we that's necessary on a day-to-day -day basis so um, but once you master that skill and let's just say you want to hire out for a cold caller now what you want to do is document everything that you do every single step you know even if it seems super minor and minute and not important uh, you, you got to think like a kindergartner like how would you explain this to a kindergarten Gardener that's never ever seen this or heard of this or done this in any way shape or form Okay, so that's the first thing document Every single step that you do whether it's saying okay first you pick up the telephone You know you make the phone call or you pick up, you know with your headset you you click on Ready in the dialer system or whatever it is. Here's how you get into the dollar system. Here's the login Here's what you do when you first log in, you know, whatever all these different steps are you just detail them out you know, in a document, all typed out in order, um, and don't leave out even the smallest detail. Uh, you know, if you even want them to say something a certain way, put that in the document too. So step-by-step -step documentation is super important, but equally or even more important, now don't skip the first step, 
you know, documenting it. Um, but, but equally or even more important is recording a video. So there's a lot of different video platforms out there that you can get um, for free or next to free at least um, that you can actually just record yourself doing things on your computer. Um, you've seen some of my videos that, you know, we use different things to record, you know, different things. So we do it all for training. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Setting your employees up for success. You've got your detailed information. So first of all, let's back up. You've done it yourself and you're a master at it. So now you are qualified to teach it to an employee, right? Um, but then you have it documented out on a PDF to where it's easy to follow. Maybe even make a flow chart of how the flow goes. You know, this happens, point an arrow to this, 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 right? Make a flow chart. But definitely document everything on a, on a PDF. You know, just in a Word doc or something, but save it on a PDF. Um, just so they can't change it. So you want it on a PDF. But anyways, document step by step. But then record yourself doing exactly what you just told them on the PDF. Do yourself recording exactly what you told them on the flow chart that you built out. So that way you have, and you can break that video up into several several videos if you need to, but it's definitely easier just to have it on one. But you know, for acquisitions, you need tons of different ones. But for something like cold calling, you could probably do that on one video to where you're explaining step-by-step -step detail you know, according to your PDF, because you don't want mixed signals too. That's key. Uh, whatever you're putting on this PDF, you want your video to reflect the exact same thing that you said. Um, so, so keep that in mind. So, so again, we're going to um, be a master at whatever it is you're hiring for. Okay. Number two, document that on a PDF. Okay, and or flow chart as well. Both is is better, um, but at least the document. And then number three a detailed step-by-step -step video showing them with your video screen recorded showing them step-by-step -step of exactly what you're doing you know if you got to click here click there to get to certain parts um, and then and then the last but not least you know like show them live like okay you showed them um, you, you prove that you're a master so you're training them you've got your document PDF and flowchart um, you've got the video step-by-step -step details on how to do it. Now, number four, you need another detailed video showing them how it's done now, okay? Not just how to do it, but show them live action now, okay? So if you're wanting them to cold call, get on the dialer, do everything that you taught them in the PDF, everything you taught them on the, on the instructional video. Now you're showing them live, like here's how it's actually done. Watch me do it live, and you're actually talking to sellers live recorded so they know exactly how to do it okay this happened so i click this button oh this happened i click this button you know whatever it is um whatever your situation is in your scenario and whatever position it is do that okay so you got to be a pro first master the master the duty and then detail it out on a pdf okay make an instructional video of how to do it and then number four is a live training on exactly what to do on, on live training so that they have no way of failing at this, okay? So that way, if you have all four of those things, you're definitely setting them up for success and they can duplicate that process and hopefully they can even become, you know, your trainer for you. Like in my, all my cold callers, I have five cold callers uh, and one of them is, is the manager over the other four. She cold calls herself, but she also manages the other four people. So really, um, she's the only one that answers to me um, because she's handling all of them. So that makes it a little easier um, because, you know, she went through this whole training that I have and now she can duplicate that and train the people under her as well. So anyways, hopefully all that made sense. So those are the best four things to do to guarantee, not really to guarantee, but really at least to set your employees up for success. And the rest obviously is up to them as far as um, producing and doing what they're supposed to do, you know, implementing those things that you taught them. But if you don't do those things, you're really setting them up to fail. And trust me, I've been there. I'm trying to teach you things that I've learned along the way that I failed out originally. Um, so now I learned these things and now that's what I do now um, so that you keep people longer. You know, they're happier because they, they're actually fully trained. And that's another thing too, just have ongoing training with them, stay in communication, help them out when they need to, you know, cause it's not just like after you finish that, you can't just leave them alone. They're still going to struggle along the way and you got to be there to help them as, as a leader. So anyways, 
Hopefully you found value in that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks a lot.